Hello everyone, welcome to Ryan Irwin's Patent Engineering Blog. I'm Ryan and this is week 5. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Adidas versus Under Armour case. It involves uh, wearable technology that Adidas has patented and is suing Under Armour for a large sum of negl negligence in infringement. Um, basically, Adidas has filed a lawsuit against Under Armour and its subsidiary Map My Fitness claiming that they infringed on workout tracking software and devices. Um, Adidas is claiming the infringement on 10 of their patents in an ongoing dispute over location-aware systems. And location-aware systems are basically things that you can clip on that they track your heart rate, they track the intensity of your workout, they track where you're going, the incline, and all that stuff so that you can aggregate data about your workout and thus uh, find trends and hopefully improve your fitness. Um, Under Armour purchased the fitness technology company Map My Fitness in November 2013 for about $150 million. And Under Armour claims that the patents of Adidas are invalid because it is too broad and claims uh, only capabilities. So basically, Adidas neglected to talk about the usable functions and only talked about its capabilities in the patent, which should make it invalid according to Under Armour. Uh, there are 10 patents in the case, but the ones that Adidas and Under Armour are going to focus on are USPTO numbers 7,292,867 and 7,805,149. Um, uh, basically, in these patents, Under Armour is claiming that Adidas made concrete claims about the usability, and this is apparent, and that's why we're focusing on these two, is that uh, claims about usability were clearly made in 149, but Under Armour is saying that in patent 867, um, Adidas only went as far to talk about capabilities and didn't actually talk about usability, and that's basically why these this patent case should be thrown out because it, it's basically Adidas was cheating and trying to stay broad and talk about capability rather than what it's specifically used for. And as we know from studying patents in the past five weeks, you have to be very specific on what the patent can do. Um, the technology in question particularly is the Armor 39 system designed by Under Armour, which has a module that can be attached to any upper body fitness wear. And um, other news in Fit Tech, which are the sensors, is that there's been a large increase in the lawsuits in this space, specifically uh, by Rosh, Robert Bosch Healthcare Systems and Body Media's suit against Base Science. Um, I really enjoyed learning about this case. And basically, um, you know, technology that tells you where you're going and how you should work out has been around for a while. And although Adidas does have the patent on it, I feel like uh, from the details in the case and reading several articles and watching videos on it, I feel like Adidas was a little broad in their claim and that Under Armour does have a, you know, a good argument that uh, they talked about capabilities and not usability and this could uh, ultimately affect the verdict. Um, 